my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus in today's gospel jesus clearly tells us what is christian life is the first part jesus tells us each christian should produce very good fruits very often we come to know the life and ministry of different saints not from their names or from their their villages we come to know about them by hearing their ministry when we speak about mother teresa of calcutta immediately it comes to our mind her commitment for the sick for the poor yesterday we celebrated the feast of saint peter claver immediately it comes to our mind his charitable activities when we speak of saint francis xavier his missionary zeal is very much noted so all these saints they were known not by their names but by their ministry or we could say that by their fruits a real christian always produces good fruits brothers and sisters when we lead christian life we have a lot of struggles and difficulties a lot of temptations christian life is not that easy as we think very often we think that it is an easy job it is not that easy very often we think it is easy because we do not know what christian life is if we ask about our own life in what way we are giving testimony to the lord if you answer well then we understand what is the difference between real christian life and our life when we speak about christian life we think these are the qualities of a christian what are the qualities in normal times people say a person who goes for sunday mass and a person who spend uh, maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes in the evening and and reciting a rosary and maybe a little charity that's enough for christian life or that is if we do this much we think that you are a good christian but in reality this is only starting point of christian life we could say and if we start with this this uh, these kinds of spiritual practices then you must develop you are you must develop your christian life faith and ministry this is very often what happens in most of the christians and many of us lie many of our lives we start with these practices and we end up with these practices we do not grow in our christian life christian mission and christian ministry we think that i pray a rosary i go for the sunday mass nowadays you may say that i also attend some time i spend some time in attending the uh, online services that is enough brothers and sisters this is only a starting point of christian life christian life is specially shown through our qualities our good qualities through our, through the, by producing good fruits in our life how far you are able to live with cope with the other people how far you are how far you are able to give witness to jesus christ how far you can give testimony through your life brothers and sisters that is that is a place where often we fail we can we can say we can say prayers we can recite rosaries and we spend we could spend lot of time maybe with the uh, before the blessed sacrament but how am i acting towards the people around me that makes the difference you look at the life of jesus where jesus christ uh, the whole day time in especially in his public ministry the whole day he was spending time with his people he was compassionate he was kind enough and he was understanding 
and he was generous and gentle towards the people around and at the same time in the evenings we we read in the gospel we read he has he has gone to the he went to mountains hills to pray to be with his father so these two aspects blended well in the life of christ two aspects of life blended well in christ christ life prayer life and apostolate this is what is expected from you and me we pray together but that prayer does not finish by 7 o'clock this mass finish of my christian life is over it must have it must have effects in my day to day life brothers and sisters in the midst of poverty in the midst of difficulties in the midst of uh, struggles if you could at least extend a helping hand towards someone else who is who is in need of your help you could say that you are giving witness to jesus christ values of christ and another way we could say that in the midst of opposition in the midst of difficulties in the midst of people whom we we'll do not love what is the way we are behaving towards them that shows the real quality and color of a christian brothers and sisters none of us how much problem with jesus christ when we come before the lord we bow down before the lord we offer our prayers and we smile at jesus with great respect and reverence we spend time before the lord most of us brothers and sisters but what is my attitude towards my people around my people around you know we we both we all live in a society where we mingle with lot of people some people are generous and gentle towards us some people are not that much what is my reaction towards those people what is my reaction towards people who hate me what is my reaction towards people who do not like me brothers and sisters that is the place you could say that the person is really following christian principles if you love that person if you are extending help towards that person and if you are not speaking against him brothers and sisters you could say that you live christian values you live christian values otherwise we are otherwise we are people who do not have strong faith the second part of the gospel we read a person about a person everyone who comes to me and listen to my words and ask them i will show you what he is like he is like the man who then built the house that dug deep and laid foundations on rock the river was in flood it bore down on that house but could not shake it it was so well built a person who who has who knows christ who has the qualities of christ and who behaves like christ is a person who has built his christian life on strong foundations of faith that is a person who has seen god the other one the other one we could call that he is a person who pray to the lord but he has not seen god he has not touched by the word of god he does not have the qualities of christian life but of course he is praying we could we could say that he is praying with his with his mouth or vocal prayer he is doing that is why jesus said to his disciple uh, please people who pray what do you call, why why do you call me lord lord and not do what i say gospel of luke chapter 6 verse 46 why do you call me lord lord and do not do what i tell you brothers and sisters those who call more the name of the lord they have more responsibility to do what he tells because other people they don't call they don't listen to the word of god their responsibility is rather less we got wonderful opportunity better opportunities to worship to hear the word of god to read the word of god more than that put into practice what is heard in our day to day life brothers and sisters let this holy mass 
may help us to produce good fruits. If you are a Christian and if you still feel that you are not in good terms with someone, you are still keeping enmity with someone, you are still, uh, still you are uh, murmuring and grumbling against that person. You are a person who spend a lot of time with the Lord, but no concern for your, con uh, your life partner and children. A person who is not able to co-work with his companions. Brothers and sisters, all of us, in one way or other way, uh, we must ask the Lord, Lord, give us the grace to be in touch with God by helping, by helping people around, by loving people around. May the good Lord may help us and give the grace, special grace of the Holy Spirit to proclaim our Christian faith through our life and ministry, through our life and mission. May the good Lord give us the grace. Amen.